Shruti, the fruits of hearing Jaiva Dharma. As indicated in Srimad Bhagavatam 112, all the philosophies on earth that are celebrated as Dharma are utterly deceptive. One should completely abandon such deceptive Dharmas and absorb his mind in true Dharma. In other words, one should give up the fourfold goals of material life. Dharma, Arta, Karma, Moksha, and aspire solely for the ultimate destination of Nitya Prem. Those who are deluded identify themselves with matter. That is their error. However, one cannot be purified of such delusion by endeavors for Nivrashesh Brahma Gyan. The Mayavadi thinks Sri Krishna to be subject to the limitations of time, such as birth and death and considers that he is not transcendental. Thus he rejects Sri Bhagavan's vichitrata, astonishing characteristics, paraphernalia, qualities and lila. Through this vicious attempt he is left with the philosophy of Nirvishesh Brahma. Such base and contemptible gyan, which arises out of an attempt to dismember the divine form of Bhagavan, is only fit to be rejected. It is prakrita, materialistic, and should never be given credence as aprakrit dharma. Such knowledge that is solely related to the duality of this dull material world is fit to be rejected, whereas transcendental knowledge of the divine duality within the spiritual world, chit jagat, should be accepted forever within one's heart, both as the upaya, means of attainment, and the upaye, the goal worthy of attainment. The jiva is not a product of dull matter, nor is he Kaval Advaita, absolutely one in all ways with Sri Hari. The jiva is inconceivably different and non-different from Hari. The material body should never be considered to be the jiva, and this earth is not for the jiva to exploit and enjoy. The jiva Swarup is Krishna Das, and thus he is meant for Krishna's enjoyment whereas Sri Krishna Swarup is Prabhu, Master, and Bhakta, Enjoyer. This book, entitled Jaiva Dharma, neither discusses matters related to the dead material body, nor does it propound the Mayavad doctrine of the Jiva's oneness with Brahman. The Jiva's Nitya Dharma is Bhakti devoid of material motivation. The Jiva, purified by Seva, attains the fruit of that Seva in the form of Prem. One who reads Jaiva Dharma with faithful deliberation will surely attain Shuddha Bhakti, but one who does not read Jaiva Dharma can never attain Bhakti. Faithfully reading Jaiva Dharma will surely strengthen one's Abhiman as a Rupanuga, follower of Sri Rupa Goswami. One who is averse to reading Jaiva Dharma is certainly devoid of religious principles. One who faithfully reads Jaiva Dharma throughout his entire life will be endowed with bhakti and will surely realize the futility of jnana and karma. Such a man, being fully devoted to Sri Sri Radha Krishna Yugala Kishore and having attained their Amala Prem Seva, remains forever merged in the bliss of such immaculate loving service. Before commencing this most auspicious narration of Jaiva Dharma by Srila Satchidananda Bhaktivinoda Thakur, I would like to offer millions of heartfelt dandapa pranams unto the lotus feet of my beloved Gurudev, 
Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Parivraja Kacharya Asto Tarasata Shishi Mad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, who has inspired this most excellent work of unparalleled benefit for the suffering jivas to be spread throughout the entire world. Also, I offer millions of Dandavat pranams to the lotus feet of our most beloved Nityalila Pravishta Om Vishnupad Ashto Tarasata Shishi Mad Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Srila Prabhupada, that powerful Jagat Guru who has mercifully fulfilled the prediction and desire of Srila Bhakti Thakur that all people of the world would come together under the one banner of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and take up the process of chanting Sri Hari Nam. Furthermore, I offer millions of Dandavat pranams unto the lotus feet of my Param Gurudev, Nityalila Pravishta Om Vishnupad Ashto Tarasata Shishimad Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj, under whose guidance and enthusiasm Jaiva Dharma was first translated into Hindi, which otherwise would have remained bound in the Bengali language forever, thereby depriving the rest of the world of such a profound treasure. Moreover, I offer millions of Dandavat pranams unto the lotus feet of Jagat Guru, Nityalila Pravishta, Om Vishnu Pad, Ashtatarashata Shishimad, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Srila Prabhupada, who carried the torchlight of Prem Bhakti that his glorious father ignited deep into the twentieth century, thus establishing a solid foundation of pure Vaishnavism throughout the world. Finally, I most gratefully offer millions of heartfelt Dandavat pranams unto the lotus feet of Jaiva Dharma's original author, Srila Satchitananda Bhaktivinoda Thakur, who is the eternal associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the modern era, who through his writing of many sacred texts expounded the glories of Shuddha Bhakti that reinitiated the flow of pure devotion to Sri Sri Radha Krishna thus inundating the entire world in a flood of Krishna Prem. I would also like to offer my humble obeisances to all the devotees and friends of the devotees who will listen to this narration and be nourished by this divine work. Vansha Kalpa Tarubhyascha, Kripa Sindha Bhyevacha, Patita Nam Pavane Bhyo, Vaishnava Bhyo Namo Namaha.